Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about a, a move that you can do if your team doesn't have a long ball. And what I mean about that is if you are, say, coaching an under 12s, 14s side or like a, a girls side where you don't actually have someone that's developed their long pass, and, and by long pass, I mean four on three. So basically, if you were to go down for your link at a four on three or middle, middle, you couldn't from there cut out two players and hit the winger. That's what I mean about long ball. Um, what you can do here is this is called a Cindy. Well, it's a variation from a Cindy, but it's it's a middle sweep. So that's a middle, middle, and you're going to go down on your link and have this middle sweep around. Now, normally, a Cindy works by going down on the link like this and giving it to the sweeper who will then attack that player in like sort of a punish platform way. Like it's the same sort of line as what you would run with a punish. It's just with this Cindy, you get more speed um, when you're getting the ball. You're not starting from a standing still. But a two-step is when you've got the middle up in here as well. When you dump, you split hard. This player is going to come in and you go the opposite way. So you dummy to that player here. And you can see the the the, sh the momentum is shifting inwards, but then you pass and it's just a, a simple pass and you run this way. And normally you're going to get a three on two. So it's not a long ball. Like you're only cutting out one player to the wing and you're already running this way. So it's not actually a difficult pass to throw. Whereas in this case, they don't shut down and he scores the try, but you have a short ball or just a floater over the top. Um, there's not a, not a lot of risk with that pass. It's not it's not the most difficult pass to uh, to do. And we'll have a look at the next example is from a, a younger division. I think it's under 14s. So it's just uh, some footage from a, a junior state cup this year. There it is. It's on the middle. They give and he ends up using the short ball. So you want to make sure that if you do want to go the opposite way, that you do have to get the middle involved somehow up in the touch. If the link makes it and the middle's all the way back, you just give it to the sweeper and they attack. But because this middle's now making the touch, terrible arrow, they've seen a sweeper come around and naturally they're going to pull a big corner, even though that sweeper is going to be sweeping into this player here, the link. It's just natural the way your policy is. You see a sweeper, you want to cover that sweeper. And while you do that, because he's pulling a big corner, these guys will have to come in and then you hit him the other way. So it's called a two-step. And by two-step, we want dummy half taking two steps with the ball. All right? Because he might pick up the ball and there is a massive gap for him to run through. It just gives him that little bit of eyes up. But he picks up, takes his two steps, throws, and now it's the foot race as we spoke about many times. But these guys are starting at a standstill while the guy catching the ball is already running. So more than likely, if it's a good pass, yep. And if this guy comes in as well, well, my arrows are on fire today. If this guy comes in as well from the from the wing, it's just a long, you can throw the rainbow pass. It doesn't have to be a bullet pass at all. You're just throwing it into space and this guy should be able to catch it. So they're not... Um, hard passes it's not it's not like you, you're trying to get the ball to your winger but you've got to launch it over the top of five blokes you can just it's kind of like a relay throw really like in cricket you're using a short ball to then get a, a three on two rather than the, the four on three and that's just a, it's any two step and that that play is used by uh, like world cup teams like you'll see here this is um men's open grand final ntl It's the same play, and they ended up with a three on two. So the middle's, middle's up in the touch. They both got caught up in the touch together, which means now you can either give it to the sweeper to attack this bloke, or you can go the other way, which is what they do. There's two steps, one, two, and the pass is here running this way. This guy's still flat-footed, so he hasn't started his run yet, and now we're just going to beat him for speed, and it's a three on two rather than the four on three to get the ball to the winger. But again, this winger stays out and we hit the short ball. So it's just a, this is just a good, nice little play to do when, you, when you've when you got a beginning side that um, 
whether they just said the kids haven't had growth spurts yet or you, you might be in a team where no one can throw a comfortable four on three pass. Like just a, just a way to get around that while still getting the ball to the winger on sort of a, a similar platform. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you got a, a bit out of that. Um, I call it Cindy. I've heard it being called, uh, this is the middle sweep that is. I've heard it being called a cowboy and an outlaw is when you, you give it back the other way. Middle sweep, that's what it is. You get in your middle, sweeping around with your link dumping the ball. And it's good because if your link is the ball player, uh, like is the one with the better pass, you're giving them the three on two by giving it back to them. So I like that play. I've used it before with some some young guys with some 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 success. So um, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe. The more you, the more subscribers I keep getting, that, that just makes me want to make more videos. So really appreciate to everyone that has subscribed. Um, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.